After the Ninja Cops controversy, PNP officer in charge Archie Gamboa says a lot needs to be done for the police to regain the public's trust. One of his first directives, to ban his men from playing golf on weekdays. Nobody is exempted down starting from the OIC down to the lowest mammal in the Philippine National Police. And if, they, if you see them play golf, tell me and I will deal with them directly. NTR Police Chief Debold Sinas supports Gamboa's move. He claims to have given the same directive during his stint in Region 7, where he had sanctioned a handful of golfing policemen. Aside from being too expensive, Sinas adds that a round of golf takes at least four hours. Supposed to be that is executive ano, game. Papano pati na mga middle level, mga chief of police, mga PNCO, nag escort So wala nang police sa kalsada. Former PNP chief and now Senator Panfilo Lacson commends Gamboa's sound marching order. Lacson says during his time, he has banned bribery or kotong and above all, having beer bellies. The current police leadership has vowed to push through with their anti-illegal drugs campaign and internal cleansing efforts. But a viral video taken at a Manila police station isn't helping that push. The uploader said he went to the police to report a stabbing incident. He said the police officers did not pay him any attention. Instead, they were supposedly busy playing video games while on duty. The uploader, however, changed his tune when one was trying to get his story. The police, he clarified, were actually texting a colleague to attend to his report. Informed of the incident, the PNP Internal Affairs Service said it will investigate the matter further. For News 5, Greg Gregorio, we are One News. And it's not only the police force that's going through leadership changes. President Duterte also made seven key appointments to other government offices. Most of the presidential appointees have already assumed their positions, but the official list was only released to media today. Former House Speaker Sunny Belmonte was made Special Envoy of the President to Japan for Trade and Market Access. Also in the list of presidential appointees, Margaret Argel, as member of the Board of Directors of the UCPB General Insurance Company, Joel Abutal was named Commodore of the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy, Pedro Miguel Santos was named Director 3 of the Presidential Communications Operations Office, Jaime, Jamie Cruz, rather, was named Special Envoy of the President to the People's Republic of China for Trade and Investments. And lastly, William Dar and Wendell Avisado were named Ad Interim Secretaries of the Departments of Agriculture and Budget and Management, respectively. Meanwhile, the palace confirms that the President has ordered the resignation of Philippine National Oil Corporation Exploration Corporation President and CEO Pedro Aquino. Presidential spokesman Salvador Panelo says the President has lost confidence in Aquino. In a statement, Panelo said the President's order is in line with his anti-corruption campaign. Reports say Aquino was suspended after he signed an agreement with a Russian firm without the approval of Energy Secretary Alfonso Cusi. Thank you.